Hey everyone, in this video we're going to talk about um, two very important sampling techniques. So the first one is called random sampling. Okay, random sampling. And random sampling is when every individual from the population has an equal chance of being selected. So this means that every individual individual <laughs> from the pop, I'll put pop to save time, has an equal chance of being selected, has an equal chance, equal chance of being selected. So every single individual has an equal chance of being selected. So if you were in a classroom and you had everyone put their names into a bag and you shuffled the bag and you took a name that would be a random sample. So I'll write that down. So in a simple example would be classroom of 30 people. So classroom of 30 people. You know they put their names in a bag, so put names in bag. Shake the bag. Shake it good. Shake the bag. <laughs> Shake the bag and then take a name. Pick a name, any name. Take a name. And then every single person in this class has an equal chance of being selected, right? So as long as you don't cheat and, you know, um, so everyone has an equal opportunity, right? Every single individual, every individual. That's the key word. The next definition is that of what's called a simple random sampling or a simple random sample. So simple random sampling. Simple random sampling is when every group of individuals has an equal chance. How big is the group? It's, it's specified usually. So every group, every group of n individuals, this would be a simple random sample of size n, so like 10, 15. So every group of n individuals has an equal chance of being selected. Every group from the from the population as before. So an example of this would be just like before. So say you were taking a sample of size 5, so n is 5, and then you still have your classroom. So you have a classroom and then you have 30 names in a bag. 30 names in a bag. If you take five names out, so take five names, from the bag at random, you know, you shake the bag, you don't cheat, then this would be a simple random sample because then every single group of five people in the class has an equal chance. So random sampling is when every individual has a chance. Simple random sampling is when every group of individuals has a chance. Let's do a really tricky example. Let's say you want to select 1,000 people from the world. So select 1,000 people. Okay, and um, the way you're doing it is that half are male and then half are female, no matter what. Okay, so you're going to take, that basically means you're taking 500 males and 500 females every time. Okay. So you're taking 1,000 people at random, but you're making sure that half of them are male and half of them are female. Somehow you're doing that, okay? So maybe you're picking 500 males at random, and then you're picking 500 females at random, and that gives you 1,000 people total. So is this a random sample? So is it a random sample? Are we using random sampling? In other words, does every single individual person in the, in the world have an opportunity here? The answer is yes, because no, no matter what, um, you, you're going to be a male or a female, and we're picking always half male and half female. So if you're an individual, you will have an equal opportunity uh, to be selected. So yes, this is a random sample. Now, is it a simple random sample? Is this a simple random sample? Here's where it gets really tricky. Okay, and the answer in this case is no. This is not a simple random sample. Why? Well. And this problem here, n is 1,000, right? We're taking samples of size 1,000. It is a simple random sample if every single possible group of 1,000 people has an equal chance of being selected. 
But the way we're doing this, we're not allowing every possible group, right? We're only allowing those groups that consist of 50% male and 50% female, right? What about the group that has one male and 999 females? What about a group like that? A group like that has no opportunity. This group can never be picked. I just made it up. But, or, or what about the group with all females, right? It's impossible to pick a group with all females using this technique. So this would not be a simple random sample because again, in order for it to be a simple random sample, every possible group of a thousand has to have the opportunity to be selected. So kind of, kind of tricky. I uh, hope that made sense.